Hello everyone, this is Erica from A Sophisticated Pair, and today I'm doing a raw review of the Samanta Desert Collection, specifically the A170 model. Now I've talked about Samanta's sizing and their collection styles in the past, and for more information on that you can click on the link below or the link in the description. In Samanta sizing, I'm currently wearing a 75J. This is roughly equivalent to a UK 34 double G or a US 34J. Right now, I am wearing somewhere in between the 32H double H mark and the 34 double G H mark. It really just depends on how tight the band is and how the cup size actually fits. So for this particular model, the band is actually quite comfortable. I have it on the loosest set of hooks. Um, it's supportive without feeling like overly constricting. However, the cup size is a little bit small. I'm starting to get some overflow here at the center, especially when I do a full scoop in from the side. And I would say that I probably need a 75K or a UK 34H in this particular bra. Before I go into fit on this style, it's actually kind of a unique history with it. Most of the time when you see a bra like this, it's classified in America as a minimizer because it tends to distribute the tissue in such a way as to minimize overall projection. You don't often see this type of bra in European collections. Most of the time you see something with a lot more projection. And Samanta actually was thinking of using this model as a way of bridging over into the North American markets where we do use minimizers, where there is a call for them. So this is their own interpretation of a minimizer. Now it's important to note that this is not a minimizer that strictly constricts tissue. It's more of that sort of two-ply fabric that's a little bit more rigid and it has kind of that redistribution quality to the shape. Ordinarily, I'm not a huge personal fan of minimizers because I find that they tend to push the tissue so much further underneath my arms and I'm already really broad shouldered and I think the profile it creates is kind of like shoulders, boobs, and then it kind of comes down into the waist and I don't particularly care for it myself. That said, I was very eager to try it because, again, in America, minimizers can be quite popular and they are something that we see requests for. So with this in mind, let's talk a little bit about the style. First off, in Europe, they're usually called rigid, non-rigid molded cups, meaning they're smooth and seamless like you would see, but they don't have any foam padding. It's just typically a little bit of stretch fabric. So with Samanta, you typically don't always get full tacking, especially if you're like me and you're very center heavy, and that's something I'm experiencing again. Um, it's tacking more towards here, but then it's getting further apart uh, as we go up towards the top. For me, this isn't necessarily a problem. I don't mind if something soft tacks, and I understand that some brands prefer to use a softer gauge wire and not have a full tack. And in fact, some of my customers have actually become to prefer that as well because it feels a little bit more comfortable. It feels a little bit less of having a bra on. However, if you find that you really want that tacking quality to your bras, this is probably not the style for you. Uh, that said, everything else about the fit I actually really like. The cup is stretchy enough to kind of contour across shapes. Sometimes when you have a bra like this, you tend to get a lot of puckering or wrinkling, particularly here or here, where the shape is just not quite matching. This one I think has been done in such a way that it will work across tissue types, which is also very important, particularly because you do have a lot of ladies, especially with softer tissue, looking for something like this style. I think the straps are inset here more than other Samanta styles I've tried in the past. The underwires are a nice, uh, slim kind of profile here on the side. They're not overly wide. Um, they're ending just about where I would need them. They're also very nice and rounded here. The cup shape on a lot of minimizers, to me, is very smooshed. It just kind of pushes inward. The Samanta manages to give you incredible lift um, while still kind of minimizing that projection and keeping the overall profile rounded. And I really like that aspect of it, particularly because I feel like it would bridge the gap from somebody who wants a well-fitting, nice t-shirt bra that they can wear underneath certain tops, and also that person who wants the minimizer. I think it can hit both groups, and I love that they made that choice. The wings are super soft material per usual. I can never fault Samanta on using poor quality materials. They're always top notch. They feel secure and anchored to the body. Uh, there's a nice um, kind of lowness here to the sides of the cup as well, so it doesn't feel like it pulls. And the fabric here is on this cup part is also a little bit stretchier, so I think that that also enables you to have greater range of movement. Overall, I really do actually like the fit of this bra. It was really surprising for me to try it because, again, I was not expecting to like it. Now, for me, I would probably still prefer to have my projected cup. But that said, um, I think that there's something to be said for the fact that 
this particular style is still rounded and lifted and also a little bit minimized. I'm thinking more along the lines of that customer who wants to wear maybe fitted blouses or has some tops where they can't have a lot of projection. It may not be your go-to everyday bra, but this is definitely something even I could see having in my wardrobe if I had certain tops that needed that extra kind of push in a little bit more. Overall, the fit is really, really good. Um, I was really surprised. I think that this is an excellent addition to the minimizer or non-rigid molded cup market. And the price on it is also pretty nice. It's around that $60 to $65 mark. So you're kind of looking at Wacol prices. And the reason I mention Wacol is because Wacol usually does these very, very well. But you usually don't see them past like that H or I cup. This one does go to the J. And then Wacol also uses a heavier underwire. So if you've tried Wacol minimizers in the past and you liked them, but you found that either you were out of the cup size range or that the underwires were just not quite right, definitely consider the A170 model from Samanta. Aesthetically, the bra is actually kind of pretty. So beige bras you can only do so much with, that's sort of one of my mantras in the store, but they've actually managed to do quite a bit. The fabric here is lovely and soft, but you have this kind of like sand dune effect, probably because the series is named Desert. And this is also flat laying, so you don't really see this underneath any tops. It's just a way of increasing the overall like oomph factor of the bra without actually making it less discreet underneath clothes. The straps have a little bit of embellishment, but they're also fully adjustable, which is a nice touch. The wings are totally smooth. I think this gives you great back, back smoothing and side smoothing underneath more fitted tops. And in fact, on the website, Samantha specifically recommends this bra for wearing under your more fitted or thinner knits. And I think that this is an excellent option for that particular uh, demographic. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to email me at sophisticatedpair at gmail.com. Don't forget to check out our blog, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for all the latest news and information. Thanks for watching.